Hi, today I'm reviewing an app for you that allows you to put a pattern lock screen on your phone. We're not talking about the standard Google uh, or Android lock screen where you have to basically draw a pattern on a set of uh, little uh, connectors that you basically draw a pattern on. No, this uses an actual custom picture of your, of your liking and the ability of putting a dot, a line, and a circle to good use on your phone. Let's dive in. The app was originally featured on the XDA portal side by The Scotsman. It's referencing a thread by Kev Deliu, K-E-V-D-L-I-U, and it references basically a lock screen application. It's a simple application that does exactly what it's intending, and it's, it gives you a picture, and you need to draw a point, line, and a circle in a specific pattern in a specific area for you to get access to your phone. Otherwise, it won't work. The uh, thread itself, if we go ahead and dive in there, it just references some screenshots. Uh, also, there is a paid and a free version. The free version is the one we're referencing. Version 1.6.1 is the current one on the, on the Google Play Store. Let's go ahead and open it up. And then you're able to uh, go in. Again, there is a paid version of this and it's available to uh, for you if you like the application itself. Or go ahead and open it up on the phone and see how it works. Okay, so open up the application in the Google Play Store. Look for picture, picture password lock screen by Twinblade. The application is down to version 1.6.1. 1. Yeah, it's very simple to install, download, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. The options are very basic. Set the image, set the gesture that you're trying to set it, test up a gesture, start and stop the servers based on what you want to use or not, and then you have the preferences. Preferences give you the option of what type of gestures or what type of lock screen mechanism that you're trying to go, disabling the status bar, hiding the status bar if you want to, setting a backup pin, and then there's a little more options at the bottom. Overall, I went ahead and set the image. I chose one from the gallery, set the gesture, and it, I chose the point, the circle, and the, uh, and the line option. Starting and stopping the service, I went ahead and started it. Let's go ahead and test it out. Go back home, lock the phone. Okay, so right out the door, when you turn on the phone, you have the screen, and this is the gesture itself. So I went ahead and chose, set up a point. You have to draw the line and then draw the circle. Access granted, I'm able to get in. Now, let's assume I am not this guy and I just stole this phone. So let's say, draw a point, draw a line, and make a circle. Access denied. So the security option on here is very nice. Uh, again, unless somebody knows exactly which points, and even if they see you doing this, see, you have to actually know exactly where your points start. You start point, you draw the line, you do the circle. Hey, I'm still denied. And I think it's because I'm doing it over the camera. Access granted. Very good. I think the mechanism is very nice. The ability to hide your top, uh, your lock screen, or at least your status bar, is very nice because you do have the option of bypassing sometimes some of these lock screens uh, using this. Um, overall, very good app. I like the application. I like the way that it's implemented. Like you saw, it's not that easy to actually get used to using it because the fact of the matter is you have to be very precise in where you're putting that dot, the line, and the circle to be able to unlock your phone. And even if somebody's standing right next to you and they get to see the option and the pattern and the line and the circle, they actually don't necessarily have the option of being able to get into it. Uh, please download, check it out, support the developer by purchasing the Pro Key if you like the application itself. I liked it. Uh, you might have noticed on in the review that I'm using a, a new phone. This is the Galaxy Note 2. Please look forward to a, a phone review coming up soon on XDA. Also, if you have any questions or comments on this video, please feel free to put them in the comments. Like and subscribe. And I'm going to put more videos on my personal channel on some of the unboxing and the additional uh, videos that I wasn't able to put into the, to the uh, XDA video uh, coming out soon. I'll talk to you guys and see you next week.